Hey, this is Life Outlash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't said that in a long time, but that's where I'm from, a place called Slap Out Alabama. And I'm 61 years old, so if you struggle like me with these wonderful bags, uh, I don't have, I have on my other makeup, but I do not have on anything under here. I'm going to show you a little bit of the skincare that I use, and I'm going to show you this little technique that I have found that is absolutely wonderful, and I'm changing up my whole game with my under eyes. Every day it changes, and you may be just like me, so let's learn this together, and I want to show you how to do it. And if you're wondering what foundation I have on today, I'm using CoverGirl, Simply Ages. This creams are coming back in style. That's a new trend. Or the old trend that's new again, maybe. So, <laughs> that's the way it goes, isn't it? So, these are the two things I use right underneath my under eyes before I ever start. This is the Elf. Um, it is the new one they have. It's Holy Hydration. I really like it. It's very uh, simple, you know, and easy to use. Uh, just pop a little bit here. Because that's where most of the wrinkles are going to be. When we smile, they're right underneath here. So, you're not going to have them probably right up there. But you will have them in this area here. So you really want to have a lot of hydration. And then the other thing that I've been using that really working for me is Rose Hip, Rose Hip Seed Oil. Can't talk. And I use the Ordinary. I use the Ordinary. And I go and put this right on top of what I just added with the Elf and a little tad. Take it and put it right here. And make sure you spread it out all the way. Now, this is the part where you'll go and like get you some coffee or something. You need to let this settle in. And I usually let it settle for about five minutes. Okay, my under eyes are ready. Now, can you can see where my darkness is? Right there. Yeah. And sometimes it's up in this area too. It just depends, you know, on how I sleep and that kind of thing. But we're going to use this right here. This is True Match L'Oreal. I think it's the color 402 or something like that. Yes, it's the peach color corrector is what it is, but it's like a concealer too. So what I do is, oh, and remember now it's, it does this, so you don't have to sharpen it. Forgot to tell you that. So what I typically will do is I look straight on into my mirror here, see, and I hold it down just a little bit, and I take this, and we're going to draw right through here, right through there, and then I slightly, I'm going to bring it right underneath, and yes, I have some bags. I mean, I'm 61. I'm going to have bags. So, if you're watching this going, you got some bags, girl. <laughs> I earned those. Yeah. I'm 61. I'm proud to be 61 and still here. You know, that's not, uh, some people don't even live to this, be this. And so, I'm really thankful for that. Now, boom, that's it. We ain't doing nothing else. I'm sorry that was sudden. We're not doing anything else. <laughs> now we are. I am gonna use. I am gonna set it with this NYX. This stuff is wonderful. I really like it. I just. I just got this, and I've been using it maybe for two weeks, and it's become my perfect. I love it. I really do. Now this is Huda Beauty. I love this color. This is the color Marshmallow. Absolutely a great product. Now it can get a little messy right here, you know, after you've used it a while. But what I like, this thing is totally empty. I, it's totally, I've got to go today and get some more. I'm just really out of this. I don't know if I can scrape anything else out of it, but I wanted to do this for you today. Let me let me swirl it around and then come back out. Okay, yeah, I'll go a little bit. So we're the only place we're going to put this is right here, right in this area here. Ta-da. And then you're going to put some over here. I like the color of this concealer. It brightens up my face. Um, and then you can also clean up with it. Now, if you want to put a little bit over here, you can just kind of do like that and do like this. That way, we can kind of blend that out too. I look weird, don't I? <laughs> but what I typically would do is use my fingers for this. And then I come back and I am going to use this. Uh, this is uh, a... 506. This is Angie's Hot and Flashy. I love these brushes by BK Beauty. I do have a code for that, and that'll be down in the description box below. But take your fingers and just smooth this out. That's exactly what I do. Push and then push outward using these fingers, because these are the fingers that have the released resistance. Now, you can kind of use a brush if you want to. If you look at it and you sit back and you go, okay, I need a little more. Then you can always add just a tad more where you think you might need it, which for me is that wonderful little bag right there underneath. And 
I'm going to put some here. Now what I'm going to do is come back, take this brush, get my magnification mirror, and we are actually going to just kind of buff all this in together, pushing it down and taking it out, just like that. And it really, and when you set it, that's where the magic is. See, it's still got all that little highlighting there from where we put the rosehip oil. But I love to do this. This takes away any product that we don't need and leaves what we do need, especially up here in this corner. I like this because you can turn it and you can get right up in that corner, push everything down. This is a great brush. I really have enjoyed using it. Now, at 61, it's not going to get rid of all of my stuff that's there. You know, it's just not. So, however, we're going to use this. I really like this. Now, um, I'm not going to use too big a brush because I have little eyes. So, I'm going to use a brush that's kind of like this. Just something really fluffy. And all you're going to do, well, I have a bigger one. Let me see. Where's my bigger one? I have this one here. Let's use this one because this one is probably a little bit better. It's, it's a little more pliable. This is one of uh, Angie's brushes, too. This is uh, 503, A503. Take this, dip it in it, and tap it off. I usually tap it off on my hand a little bit. And then we're going to take, and we're just going to pop it right, right in here, right through here. Pop it down. I always look up a little bit, or I look down at what I'm doing. But, you know, it's not perfect, but it does look better than what I've been doing. Absolutely. I really think, and this right here, if, you, if you're going to be have, making pictures or something, this is a great conceal, uh, cover up, because what it does is it mattifies it. It is a matte color is not shiny so we we put a lot of shine there and no we put we put a lot of uh, moisture there so i'm going to come back one more time and just come right underneath here hold my head up like that and i'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then i always come back and look and if i need to take a little bit of a brush or a beauty blender something like that then i can come back let me get a little more on this side and do that same thing but don't swipe it just kind of press it into your skin and then just let it sit and do its thing. Okay? That looks so much better. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. I really like the way this looks right here. This is this is my side is my worst. So I'm going to let this sit. And we're going to come back. And we'll take a look at it. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some coffee. And then I'll be right back. Hey, this is looking so great, y'all. It is. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is take a brush, and I'm going to come into like a lighter matte color because what I like to do is just pop it right here in that corner and kind of open it up a little bit, and you'll see by what I mean by open it up. Popping it right here and right there in that corner. It just gives you a little more light, and it draws attention away from this. All you see is this, so... That's one reason I do it, too. I got a little divot right there, so I'm not real crazy about it. Um, I've had it all my life, I guess. Not really sure. I'm sure I've had it. You know, some things you just acquire as you age, <laughs> unfortunately. But I do like to kind of press it in just a few times. And that way it will stay. Now, let's take a look at our under eyes. Take your magnification mirror. I know we hate that thing, but... You know what? It's the best thing to use. And this one goes right onto my mirror. It's, in, it's attached to it. I got my mirror at, um, where did I get it at? I got it at Ulta, I believe. It's been a while, though. It's been a few. It's been a bit. All right, take this little brush here. It's a clean brush. And you're going to hold this up. And you're going to look right underneath here. Because basically, if you're going to have any settling, it's going to be right underneath that lash line. So come up here and look. And if you see anything, take it. This is a clean brush now. Don't, don't go in with something dirty because you might get different colors on it you don't want. Okay, look over here. And there might be just a tad always right underneath your lashes. Okay. Oh, perfect. I love it. It looks better than it did before. And I'm going to go ahead and finish out my under eyes. And then we'll be back and we'll see exactly what it looks like all complete.
Okay, here's our finished look. What do you think? I think it looks so much better than when I started, for sure. Now, I want to show you this little eye palette. I did, uh, I think, a tutorial on this already. But this is Unique's little warm tone palette. It's so cute. They have a cool tone one, too. So, if you like a cool tone, you could do that. But this is, like, the prettiest palette ever. And I used, well, I used this color, this color, definitely. And a little pop of that right here in the center. And that's where I got that little shine from. But, however, I started this with ornate which is a liquid eyeshadow this is the first thing i put on you really don't have to put any eye primer on if you use this because it just is so you could use this by itself and and be gone out the door so that's what the mixture is you see on my eyes so i'll i'll post that down in case you want to try it okay so right now i'm going to use my revolution <laughs> oh i love this this stuff is the bomb and I love to kind of spray it and go right down the, through the center of my face. It just gives me a nice little sheen. You know, um, glowy skin is really not going to be in anymore. I, I was just reading all of that. I was like, wow, they change it all the time. We're going back to the 90s. So the other night on my Melissa page, Unique by Melissa page on Facebook, we went back to the 90s and I used a blue eyeshadow that is a liquid eyeshadow. It is this one and yeah that's kind of quite a lot of blue and if you if you new here uh, you can i'll put a link to my page then you can go and watch that because it's quite comical so i didn't know what i was doing i just winged it and just went along with it and I, it's the grunge look and girl i had all the blue underneath it was wild when i got done <laughs> it was pretty though and I, everybody said they were going to try it so i'm like yay something good's coming out of it and then the last thing i'm going to use is this this is Unique's, um, it's a prime and set mist. I love it. I start my face off first with this. I spray this on first and let it set. Oh, that feels so good on your face. I love it. It's really nice. Okay. What do you think? I think it turned out really nice under here. Oh, I hope y'all tried. If you have any questions, please just you know, put it in the comments. Um, I would love to help you out if I can. Let me show you this one little picture here. I know this is off subject, but that's me when I was a little girl. I think I was five in this picture. I found this picture the other day, <laughs> and I'm like, this little girl to this, okay? My goodness, I have really dark hair. Yes, I do. Yeah, you can tell I have. I like my hair blonde, and that's I've been like that since I was in high school. Sun in was my friend, and then it turned it orange. Then, then I'd have to go and recolor it the whole thing over. All right. Come back next week. I love y'all hanging out with me. Like I said, put questions down in the, you know, in the comments, and I'll put everything that I've used in the description box, okay? See y'all later.